Hey, hey, YouTube, Black Hat Kevin here. So, the YCS for LA and London has just concluded, which I believe Cash Tira won, and I think Sprite Melfi or something like that won. Uh, but anyways, I was notified that there was a Sky Striker on stream. So I figured why not analyze the match, maybe give some more context and all that stuff like that. Uh, give my thoughts on it. And then, uh, you know, maybe it'll be a preview for things to come in match through. I don't know, right? Hey, there's stuff about siding in here too, probably. Um, but we'll absolutely go over it. And of course, please leave a like, comment, stuff, all that fun stuff. Uh, please look forward to that tournament guide. Of course, fill out the form below. So I can send Ray stickers to y'all. Uh, don't worry, we'll have plenty of Master Duel content, but right now it's kind of like, you know, well, uh, right? It's kind of like a weird lull right before the storm that is tier zero that will be coming. But anyways, let's get right into it. All right, so here we go. Transition. Here we are. All right, I'll play it out. I'll have the audio muted, of course. We have here Roman, uh, who's playing Sky Striker. Well, and sleeves kind of give it away. Also, another thing that I don't know what might come up, but... um. That's why in real life, I never ever show anything related to Ray at all. Even though I'm a huge Ray simp, as you guys know, I don't play with a, like, uh, with any, like, kind of Sky Striker mat. I don't use Sky Striker sleeves and nothing that can indicate what my deck would be. So, never give your opponent any kind of advantage because I think it's Michael was playing Runic Materia, so they could just make, you know, Materia Beast and that's probably it. So, <laughs> uh, we'll play it out and see what happens. So, Let's go. Nine wins, one L, one D. And the camera's already getting blurry. Let me turn it to 1080. Hopefully, that'll fix some things. Uh, it looks like. I see you got a shuffle. Oh, Michael's going first. Looks like a runic card. The hand one. I'll have some. Oh, there's Huggies. Yeah, Huggies going to search Fountain probably. Right? Right, right, right. They're gonna pitch a uh, sacred tree, which allows them to search. Search you, Archie. They're gonna add found a hand and then add an interior card. Kind of hard to see what they have in hand, so we'll react. Pretend like I don't know what's in their hand. So let's see what happens. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh. This is also a two speed, so <laughs> in real life, you know, 50 minutes fly by. Uh, they're gonna summon good old uh camella camella can sadna terror they have another one pretty sure it's once per turn yeah it's only once per turn but they add do 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 terror spell that one's a special summon right from like hand or grave yeah hand or grave but now they got hand or grave they could go an interior beast because it looks like they got a mole cricket Looks like they're gonna do that, especially some mole cricket. So that guy's thinking. Are you gonna do that? Yep. Cut the deck, please. A draw, send two. Gonna send tip and a Kurapika. Oh, that was Loki MVP, right? At the YCS. For London. I saw that though. Uh, they're gonna special summon. Or normal summon Terra Sunfly. I don't think it's a special summon, no, normal summon at all. But there we go. Make Terra Beast probably. Nat Beast. Well, that's a big <laughs> again. I wonder what they're playing. Sky Striker. Oh, Sky Striker spells. The Fury Beast says no. Remember, it's not once per uh, turn either. They're gonna activate Fountain, and it looks like they got two two cards in hand. Okay, doing drop a turn. See what happens. See what happens. Gotta think, think, think. Camera dramatically zooms in. Hey, it's on the stream, so I don't play. Oh my gosh, we have Imperm. Ulti Imperm. Target interior beast. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. There we go. Uh, pot of P. Remember, you banish three, that means he probably has a ray or starter in hand. If you banish six, that means it's probably gonna look. But at the moment, I think he got. Michael has two runic cards in hand, I think. Kind of hard to see. Right, banish three. I'm assuming you banish probably like Yellow Ray or something. Probably not Phoenix because of uh, Runic Fountain, right? You want to pop that. Maybe if you have an opportunity to. And then, uh, give another round of it. Widow, Widow, and Perm. Well, that solves it. <laughs> probably add Widow, right? Put those at the bottom of the deck. So now we know he has a Widow, probably a starter card. Let's take a look. 
boo 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 thinking 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 red highlight oh we see two purple cards oh that's graveyard never mind he's gonna use that effect gamma oh yo gamma that's crazy mo cricket gets negated gamma and banish with the shark cannon so no special shokan from graveyard for mo cricket so gamma and got two spells in grave a hey, main deck gamma that's pretty good. Choose not to cut. Now he has to summon Ray somehow, right? That's crazy. He debated that. Uh, oh, normal summon Ray? Yeah. Because why would the guy activate uh, Mole Cricket suddenly? Let's see, enter battle. Attack Nat Beast. Driver attacking Nat Beast. Sorry for the noise in the background. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. He's gonna activate the fount, uh, the runic one to prevent it from being destroyed, right? Slumber. Uh, top three get, top two get banished, right? Yeah, top three get banished. I see Nib, Rhoda, and then Afterburners. And then... Shuffle, whoa. I don't think... Oh, they're reading Fountain. All right, <laughs> what's happening? Let me focus, let me go back, I'm sorry. We're doing this live so you can see live reactions. Pointing out, blah, blah, blah. I don't wanna play the audio because I don't wanna get demonetized or something stupid by Konami, but it looks like, let me replay that sequence again, gang. It looks like, okay, so that means battle's gone through, damage calculation, everything's done. So now he's choosing to use Rooney Fountain's effect, but I think it misses the opportunity to activate the effect, right? Because you have to shuffle like right after uh, activation or something. So that's before I think uh, finishing the battle, I guess, uh, situation or, you know, step or whatever you want to call it, right? I think that's what Roman is arguing. Hey, this ain't is real life. There's no no prompts, right? <laughs> you can't click yes or something like that in real life. So I think Michael missed the opportunity because then battle things will be finished and you can't um, do that afterwards, right? The slumber is uh, regarding battle. Unless someone's a huge judge and can tell me. Uh, but it looks like they're settling it out. Judge, regionals, man regionals you gotta know that but at the same time i feel like you know if i was in his position um and if it wasn't like swiss round 12 which i assume like you need to win to probably make top cut like top 64 or something i probably would have done the same thing but it was like i think locals levels and uh something like that i think we'll just let it go not a big deal right but it's a big deal all right we're gonna skip um this part i'll mark it down editor kevin so we're gonna fast forward to this part when the ruling's done all right See you in like a second. <laughs> We're back. I guess Michael did not get the shuffle back. Uh oh, that's no bueno. Ray attacks. Sunflower, green ray. You gotta be greedy, right? Sitting guy. Because there's no way for Michael to respond at this point. Because I think he's out of cards, right? Unless he has one like off the, um, off the table. Oh, there's one. Okay, he has one card. Sitting guy, Roman. <laughs> Sitting guy, be greedy. All right, you see the lights flickering in my background because uh, we're watching this and it's so hype. We're gonna send in Gog, right? <laughs> send in Gog. Send and Gog. There we go, send in Gog. We don't get the bonus yet, I think. So probably Red Ray. Red Ray, add back in Gog. There we go. So we know that's not a runic card, probably. Now question time. Going to Zeke. Z can probably, I don't know, I don't know if you want to banish Interior Beast because you haven't engaged the search. Oh, he's going to banish Cypher Game Gear Ammo? Okay, that means if he draws another Gamma, you can still use it. Uh, and Guy to search for probably Afterburner or something, if he has a second copy, I think. Oh, he does? Okay. Don't get the draw yet because he don't got three spells. One, two, three, yeah. Michael's checking. Targeting that beast, pop that, oh my gosh. No blue, blue ray set one. It was a blue card, so it looks like Woodwanker. Remember the Woodwanker that he searched? 
or got off part of prosperity right uh thinking about multi-role what else you do linkage linkage or follow-up maybe ltk right because at this point he has like one card what else can he possibly do i remember so put damage on them because runic tier i'm pretty sure their game plan is basically just banish everything or you just click surrender i mean uh forfeit right <laughs> real life you don't click surrender let's go draw a card set one another card in hand pass turn uh oh see what happens we got gamma is going to come back it should stay because i think how the ruling works is that um if something leaves the field and then returns to the field it basically starts as like you know a brand new thing because gamma if you don't know it's a fact is that during the end phase you should get banished if you use the hand effect hand trap effect but because it was banished through zeke's effect it'll return on field and basically uh, act as like a normal monster like its previous um I guess requirements or whatever don't count. It's kind of like Barone, right? When you uh, banish Barone with like a Zeke and then it comes, I already used this negate and it comes back, it'll get another negate. If I remember correctly, please let me know if I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go off to Nightmare Phoenix. You can use the triple to ditch that to get another Naturia tree. I mean, he's doing that just to fill up a. Uh, the zones right because he has linkage in hand so you can oh okay mo cricket yeah search i'm sacred tree i think i sent the graveyard looks like they're doing damage so 19 another 15 right probably green ray and rose do more damage so michael's getting hit Man, I wish they were faster with the life point thing. Sometimes it's hard to do quick mass and I'm Asian. <laughs> Alright, so 15 plus 19, I think that's 34. Alright. So 34 right there. Red Ray. Red Ray add back. The Ngog, of course. Activate Ngog. Search multi-roll. I think Michael still has one card, right? one card what's that card be hmm maybe he's waiting for a push he drew one the Roman's gonna be greedy activate multi-roll we know this is the widow anchor that he hasn't activated yet if i remember correctly blue ray blue ray is gonna search i mean what else do you search you ready to use shark cannon uh you guys well you don't really want horn jones so the other widow anchor right so activate widow and then he might reset the shark cannon. Because, I mean, you already have one Widow Wanker. There's no reason to set another one. <laughs> right? So. Let's go to Graveyard. There you go. Shark cannon. Shark cannon, shark cannon. Let's see what happens. He draws another one. <laughs> see a purple card. Oh, well, it's not Sacred Tree. What else? He's playing evenly matched. Oh, he's going to special summon... Uh, Nateri base. Hey, that's another thing you can do. Remember that? Uh, especially against Sword Soul. You get the Barone to free negate. Or Winda. I guess now IP Masquerade against Sprite, right? So you can Unicorn him. Ah, uh, Evenly matched. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you keep, right? If I were him, I think I would keep the Widow Anchor because... I mean, you might have enough starter. One more card in hand, right? I don't know what that is. It's Shark Cannon. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> hey, it might be fine. Who knows? He has one card, two cards in hand, I think. Monster. Oh yeah, the mole cricket. Oh man, I would have kept the widow anchor because let me. Uh, mole cricket's effect is tribute as cost, so oh special summon two level fours. Uh, probably the camellia, right? The bug, the bug thing. Yeah, this thing. Or not the bug, the flower, right? The flower thing. And then. That's gonna make a rank four, I assume. Which rank four? And then if they make something like that, you just steal it, don't you? And like buy still some turn because like you still got the rays and prosperity is probably you're gonna draw and whatever Miss Mystery card is. Oh no, he's gonna draw two. Let's see, the other one's a monster. Uh Kurapika? Oh, he's gonna bitch that. So he's ditching Kurapika, so there's two blue cards, right? Or green blue green? Looks like spell. So the other card in the entire hand was Kurapika. Oh my god. 
Oh no, it's tip. <laughs> See what happens. Available. Hey, that's not bad, right? Search fountain. Oh no. Fountain. Is it another runic card? At this point, I think Michael is probably out of gas for material stuff. Now he's gonna just be annoying. I mean, uh, skilled with the runic stuff, right? Oh my god. McDoggy. Yeah. Is that flashing fire? It looks like flashing fire, right? <laughs> or freezing curses, sorry. Freezing curses, freezing curses. It's confusing because freezing curses has like a fire sword on it, but it's actually freezing. So. Oh my god. Yo, three more blue cards. Oh, no, it looks like another fountain, maybe. No bueno. It's gonna just be annoying. Banish your stuff. Oh, tough, tough, tough. This one decision right there. That's why Sky Shark is hard, gang. You know, I'm just some guy watching <laughs> this free play when uh, obviously they're playing on stream, which is very nerve wracking. You know, I've never played on stream, but I've been deck checked, and like, you know, it's like kind of scary. And also, I played on stream for like a Smash tournament once. Horrible experience. Get like, <laughs> get like three stocked. So, you're gonna make Blu-ray. Or they still have Blu-rays, thinking, I think. Look at the graveyard. And what's up? I think I got like his basically entire deck. Attack, doggy. So these are two dead cards, maybe. Rosie O'Donnell's effect. Shiny Rosie O'Donnell, hey. Here we go. I don't know. I feel scared playing like high rarity cards, like because regionals, like people get their stuff stolen a lot. <laughs> it's very surprising, especially in my time, like when I judged like a couple times. <laughs> I remember the tournament start. Oh, here we go. That one protects, right? Slumber. It looks like slumber. And then banishing stuff. Oh, Ash gets banished. Pass turn. Oh boy. I don't know if there's any way Roman can realistically close it out. Well, I mean, you know, you send Rose to Graveyard, you still got, maybe you draw some linkages or something like that, right? But Michael, at this point, he has all gas. And by the way, this is like double speed, so. <laughs> Dang, how much attack do I lose? Attack defense I lose? Let's see, you're gonna use now that's a flashing fire to bop Rosie O'Donnell. And then he's gonna chain freezing curses to negate and then shuffle back three. So Blue Ray is at 15 right now. Oh my god. It's tough. Got two cards. I feel you, Roman. I feel you. So one Widow Anchor, I think, that changed the course of this entire match, right? Because I think Roman was totally at advantage. And like, you know, Michael missed the timing for Runic Foul. It looked like all was, all was lost. Set one. Look in the graveyard, seeing what's up. How much gas do I have? Red Ray, yep. Red Ray. Uh, no senor. We're gonna freezing curses in the gate. The Red Ray is still at 15. Change of heart, oh my god. Change of heart. The steel, oh, this could be it, maybe. How much attack is uh, rank four? Let me check. That's 1200, okay, blue Ray. 15 plus 12. Attack. We'll be down to. Oh, he also main decks even the match. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Maybe not. It's gonna chain. Looks like another slumber. No, that's not slumber, you stupid Kevin. That's destruction. 
hit Hoggies. Hoggies goes back to extra deck. Uh, a chain hammer time. Mining storm to banish stuff up to a number of cards to control. Looks like a kaiju got banished. Crazy stuff's happening, let's see. Not looking great. <laughs> got only a couple cards left, right? There's like six cards, seven cards. Let me search for Airy Zero, because why not? Tough. That comes back. Drop a turn. Mako got too much, man. He can just banish everything. Unless somehow uh, Roman can do, I guess, 2500 damage. Unless that's wrong. Thinking, thinking, thinking. There we go. That looks like a slumber. Banish Ray. Rain terraform. Hey, you don't want to draw the dead terraforming. <laughs> That's the right side, right? That's still in attack mode. We got Naturia Blessings. The special sub gun. Camellia. I mean, you still got. It looks like another Mo Cricket in hand, right? Let's see what happens. Cause I think Michael can just like basically end game. He just shuffles back some of his uh, runic cards, and then I mean, look at Roman has. He got like maybe what five cards left? Four cards? Five four cards? Let's activate another like Smiting Storm or something like that. All right, Smiting Storm. It looks like he's activating Destruction. Summon Huggies. I have another fountain. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Go into. Looks like Stardust Charge Warrior. Classic. Gonna draw a card off that. Looks like another interior blessing. That's not once per turn. Oh wow, that's not once per turn. It's <laughs> crazy. Oh, Synchro Summon, into Baron, 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 put that in defense mode, so now you got Baron, I mean, Baron, uh, pass turn, yeah, no reason to, you don't want to get Ray, maybe advantage and stuff like that, it's annoying, right? Area zero. That looks like a purple card. I don't know. Imperm. Target. Oh, only two left. Linkage. I believe you cannot activate that because the requirement for area zero is that it needs uh, three cards. Or you need to show the top three. Because, like, if it wasn't the case, then they say, like, or as many as possible, right? Like, um, I guess Necroface, right? I think it says that many as possible. So, I don't know. I think Roma's screwed, probably. Unless he can somehow output 2500 damage, but with the Baron on field and uh, plenty of runic spells, it looks like in Michael's hand. Looks like he's screwed. <laughs> Feels bad, man. It's just that one wood wanker, I think. If you're watching this, Roman, uh, let me know, man. Let me know. It's Bop, yeah. Pass turn. Activate. Oh, well, I, think, I don't think it matters, right? It looks like he's activating. Destruct, flashing fire. I think he just conceded. All right, uh, we'll move on to I guess game two because remember, real life there's uh, it's best of three. <laughs> so we will move on right now. It's game two decided and stuff. Looks like cyclone. I saw the cyclone, Roman. Uh, looks like he elects to go second. I see a purple card, evenly matched again. Main deck evenly matched. We can do tip. Just a tip, tipper, shout out Marth. Oh, banish a ray. Hey, if Roman has a skill, then he already has a ray in hand. Like he did last time. That's the mark of a true Sky Striker player. 
Fountain, you yeah. know? Looks like Ash. Trying to TCG line, not to worry about Maxi. Uh, oh, I think it looks like um, Flashing Fire, but they're gonna use that to get uh, the boy. Moon, Moon, Mooney, right? Mooney, and it gains a thousand. Hey, time rolls, that matters. That matters. Yeah, gain a thousand. Now it's up to, <laughs> up to Michael to, to kill time seven minutes. Now I'm getting Cyclone. Oh boy. Uh, I think Moonin can protect that because it targets. Looking back. Oh, another one. Wow, that is skill, gang. That is skill. Very skilled. Now you got four cards in hand. You got a ray. You're ready, man. Well, now he knows to play around Evil Match 15. Here we go. You go into Green Ray. Green Ray, yeah. <laughs> Attack for another 15. We sent Rose. That means his game. Send Rose. Do it, Roman. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do we send Rose? He sends Rose. Oh, he sent every zero. I guess he doesn't have linkage. <laughs> oh, well, he doesn't have enough, anyways, because, like, 9k, right? They forgot to activate that. Oh, and Gag. It's ashed. So, this is a 9k. You gotta step your game up, Konami. And Gag search. And now I'm gonna set up. <laughs> and I'm gonna set up multi roll and uh, choose a good shuffle because you know he's playing evenly matched, so it's probably gonna keep that. What do I anchor search? Blu ray. Set and then Gag. Last turn, search for horny drones in case I guess he gets evenly matched, right? You wanna follow up? <laughs> but right now Michael needs to get some stuff. It looks like another ash. Another ash looks like a purple card. I gotta see some it looks like an runic card. Last turn, sure. Blue ray goes into red ray. Red Ray ass back and Gog, of course, unless he has a negate, which he does. Banish top three, you see linkage. Oh, feels bad. Red Ray goes into Green Ray, probably, yeah. Back for 15. Udamas. Send Rose. I'd probably send Rose at this point, right? Set up for linkage. Because you have Hornet drones in hand. Guess you could do that. Gonna do the greedy play. Sorry for all the background noise. People have been walking in and out. Shark cannon? Okay, send shark cannon. Blue ray. Blue ray fag. Searchy worchy. Uh, widow anchor, sure. We know that set is probably widow anchor. Has turned you always just concedes. All right, <laughs> that was a quick game. Uh, quick game too. I think Michael could have, you know, taken his time, but I guess he's been a really nice guy. So good for him. Uh, we'll move on to game uh, dress right now. Hey, we're back. This is game three. What do you side in? What do you do? Right. I'm pretty sure Michael want to go first. You set up your runic stuff and then you're good. So Roman's probably putting in a bunch of, I guess, uh, same thing, right? Cyclones, evenly matched. Keep that stuff. Uh, if he's playing Lightning Storm, I don't know what else he would probably try to main. Uh, tip, just a tip. Shout out, Marth. See what's happening. Hey, we don't, there's only like two minutes left, right? So, if Michael doesn't have anything here, I mean, Roman can just go into Yellow Rain and call it a day. I know it sucks, right? But that's part of the game. Let's see, tip goes into the boy. The boy adds a, a thousand life points, so take sweet time, set two. Oh, Valor. Oh my god. Skill, gang. Skill. So now it's 8k. Roman can take his time. Ray. Oh, he's playing fast. Ray, enter battle phase. Attack directly. 15. Hey, he's doing it the honorable way. Not the annoying way with like yellow ray and then checking graveyard and all that garbage, right? Sending Gog. Be greedy. Absolutely be greedy. But it's probably one of these is, I would assume, uh, freezing curses, right? To add back. Attempt to add back in Gog. I guess that goes through. That goes through. 
pot of pea. Man is three. Let's see, Ghost Belly, Area Zero, DD Crow. Have Area Zero. Activate Area Zero. Oh, it just passed. Okay, uh, wow. <laughs> that was kind of underwhelming, to be honest. But I mean, it was about to go out of time, so. Uh, I don't think there's any way for Michael to even hit any, uh, do a lot of damage, right? Because of all the runic stuff. They only basically try to be annoying as possible, but he hit them for 15. Uh, and I don't think there's any realistic way for them to do more damage to 15, right? Uh, so, I don't know. That was crazy, right? That was fun. Congratulations to Roman, you pulled it out, man. It's just that game one, right? Where the, I think the water anchor, if maybe he kept that, things might have been different. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered, but like... I think sitting on Ray is something I almost never do when I get hit with, uh, with um, you know, evenly mashed. Unless it's literally the only card. But uh, Michael, I think, had another card. So it was just that moment right there. Uh, right here. That was pretty cool, too. That play, uh, banishing the Cyphering Gear Gamma. Because I think most people would just uh, link it off and then maybe banish the Terry Beast. But why do that when you have a gauge to search for? Afterburners pop that and then pop the fountain too. So two for one. That's why I found I mean uh Afterburner is great. All right, you go two for one right here. This is the moment where I think game one basically got flipped right there. Oh man. Tough, tough stuff, Roman. But you pulled it off, man. Congratulations. If you're watching this video, congratulations. Great, great play. Feels bad, Michael. Um, uh, but hey, that's part of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you want more of something like this, uh, let me know. Hopefully uh, it was entertaining. Hopefully you learned a little bit something from seeing how <laughs> high level Sky Striker play. Especially in uh, round 12. So, um, alright. Thanks for watching. Thank you all channel members. See you guys around. Please look forward to that tournament guy. Alright. Jana. This is my outro song for free YouTube monies. Give me some likes and support me please. <laughs>